So, Microsoft To Do have had an eventful 2018. With the launch back in 2017, 2019 looks like an exciting year as the application begins to catch up with the competitors. So, in the last 12 months, Microsoft To Do have been adding plenty of new additions to their application, allowing them to play catch up with many other resources. They have a long way to go, but we're going to talk today about what's new with Microsoft To Do. You can tell I really wanted to say that title. So let's begin with a timeline. Obviously we know that Microsoft To Do was created back in 2017 as a replacement to Wunderlist. Although Wunderlist is currently still available, they have not given a date to the sunset of the application. So To Do is the new personal productivity application for task management for Microsoft. In the last year, they've added a range of features, including list sharing. They've also added steps. Steps quite simply are subtasks. And it did take a while for Microsoft To Do to add these. Starring a task to important, allowing you to add the most important task to a list. And recently, they've added the ability to attach files. This is a great new addition and something that a lot of people enjoyed. They have also been working and crafting the Android and Windows applications to be more of a beta experience for users. For example, they announced dark mode on Android, allowing you to see the application in dark mode. They also have that available in the Windows Beta 2. Now, Windows also got an addition of live tiles recently, allowing to view all of your to-do updates inside of live tiles on Windows. The application is in its basic format, but definitely looks exciting for 2019. They do have a few things listed in their user voice as things they want to build. For example, they have an Outlook integration, allowing to send on emails in Outlook, a calendar view, allowing you to see your tasks per calendar day, which is quite exciting, a group list to improve the list sharing abilities, multiple accounts in case you have maybe a family account and a work account, and also the ability to see weekly plan of view which is something that a lot of people want to see. They also have plans in springtime, which they actually announced in their Microsoft Ignite talk, that they have plans to add planner and to do, allowing you to connect your work planner, which is a project manager from Microsoft, to your personal to-do list. Well, the integration that we're uh, going to be releasing will bring your assigned task and planner into to-do, so you can have one central place to manage them all or in this case, it could be your work to-do list, but they do have plenty of updates in the woodwork. So let's look at Microsoft To Do as a package. As a task manager, it does offer a great experience. It's available on Android, iOS, web, and Windows. Although currently not available on Mac, it does offer a pretty cross-platform experience. It also offers all you need for basic task management. For example, you can add a task and organize it into different lists, or even organize it in my day. And they also have features like suggestions where once pressed, you can access all of your overdue tasks and organize your day ahead in the my day view. They do include notes and also subtasks now. So you do have that ability to go a bit deeper into each task. Many people will say this is slowly creeping up on what Wunderlist was like. They're also making it a really sturdy application. I've seen a lot of reviews that people have been rating Microsoft to do very highly now and actually using it as their daily to-do list. But let's take a moment to compare it to other such applications. Let's take a larger application like Todoist that has a bit more grounding. Now, obviously we know Todoist has features like labels and also filters, as well as smart schedule, intelligent input, and many more features like this. But it's actually not too far away from this application. If Microsoft To Do added the likes of a calendar view and also worked on some of its integrations, and maybe added the ability to add context or even a filtered view, they would be on level pegging with Todoist within the next couple of months. But let's also compare it to the application Google Tasks. Now, Google Tasks is very basic. You could add tasks very simply, adding subtasks, notes, but not really much more. You can't add it to a customized list, which you can do in Microsoft To Do, allowing you to add a lot more customization. You don't have any of the My Day suggestions or any of the planned or important areas inside Microsoft To Do. So what I would say is when comparing to these two applications, I would put it bang in the middle. 
I'd say it's a perfect balance between Todoist and Google Tasks, allowing you to get the best of the breed of these applications. So if you're looking for a robust application that doesn't really do the advanced stuff that applications like Todoist, TickTick, and Nirvana do, then you're going to be looking at Microsoft To Do. But if you don't want an application that does things like Google Tasks, Apple Reminders, or some of these basic experiences, then you want to upgrade to Microsoft To Do. So this application sits happily in between. Now, right now it's currently free. The team seem really active on social media, on Twitter specifically, and they seem to be updating pretty routinely. Now, I highly recommend you go and watch the Microsoft Ignite talk they did recently back in October about Microsoft To Do, because it might give you an outline of what they plan to bring to the application. And also, if you are looking for a resource, this one will be sticking around, at least for the short term, as they phase out applications like Vundalist. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think of Microsoft To Do. Let me know whether this was a nice roundup to Microsoft To Do, because I will definitely be doing more features like this soon. So guys, thanks so much for stopping by today. If you liked this video, do hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe as well. It'd be great to have you here in the community. So guys, thanks very much for stopping by. I'll see you guys super duper soon. Cheers.